everybody, I am Wunu, your weekly Universal News and Updates. I go over everything that's happened to Weekly at Universal Studios Orlando. And this week, that includes Mardi Gras being announced and their Christmas event being announced. So, if you want to see stuff about that, go ahead and stick around. However, let's get straight into some updates right now. So, we're actually going to start outside of the parks in CityWalk, where, in the studio store, new Christmas stockings for all four Harry Potter houses, along with Harry Potter Hedwig shirts... Hedwig long sleeve shirts, waiting for my letter tank tops, waiting for my letter shirts, Hogwarts Illumini jogger pants, a Marauder's Map Magic Light notebook, and baseball caps for all four houses will become newly available. Also, a mobile app exclusive pumpkin spice donut will become available at Voodoo Donuts. This is a pumpkin spice cake donut with buttercream cream cheese dollop topped with sprinkles and a dash of pumpkin spice, and it actually looks really good. Hopping in some general news about the parks, in all arcades throughout the parks, Universal has switched to an e-card system. This is a card that you redeem credits onto. You scan the card into a game, and if you receive tickets, they are put on that card. To accommodate these new cards, new machines to get the cards have been placed, and ticket and token spots on the games have been replaced with card scanners. The machines say that this is an effort made by Universal to be better to the environment. Universal would also upload a video discussing Mardi Gras of 2022. It states that the food will be back, the parade will be back, the concerts will be back, and that it will run from February 2nd all the way to April 24th. Now, this is a lot shorter than last year's event because they just kept expending it because of its popularity. I don't know if they're going to do it again this year, but if they do, I'll probably be quite happy. Also, the new UOAP, or Universal Orlando Annual Pass Holder, Wanted button would become available. This is a button that I actually do not understand the theming of, so if you do, please tell me in the comments. Also, a new Cartoony Jack themed version of the Midnight Syndicate Music of Halloween Horror Nights album would be released. Now, if you don't know, these are very popular albums all about the music of Halloween Horror Nights, released by the people who have made these albums for years now. This is a really cool looking edition of it, and on the day it came out, there would be a line waiting to buy it. Universal would also release a video to promote their Christmas event. It confirms the return of the Grinchmas show, the Macy's Parade, Hogwarts Light Show, and decorations in Diagon Alley. It also states that it will run from November 13th to January 2nd, but we actually have already known that information for a few months. An email would also state that the Frog Choir and Celestina Warbeck will have a holiday spin-off of their shows, that there will be a Grinch photo op at all the books you can read, and there will be some resort holiday details. Here are what they stated. At Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel, you can capture memorable holiday moments in an Italian-inspired backdrop. Holiday and New Year's Eve's Harbor Nights on the Harbor Pizza, Kids' holiday crafts and activities, and strolling holiday carolers will include in their accommodations. At Hard Rock Hotel, you can live like a rock star this holiday season. A New Year's Eve lobby party, a Christmas tree and Hanukkah menorah lighting ceremony, and holiday brunch and dinner specials will be their accommodations. At Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort, you can mark the holidays at this South Seas Escape. A Hanukkah menorah lighting ceremony and holiday buffet specials will be coming to this resort. In Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort, you can spend your holiday in the heart of the tropics. New Year's Eve celebration in Strongwater Tavern, Hanukkah menorah lighting ceremony, and a holiday buffet specials will also be coming to this resort. At Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort, you can make it a retro holiday at this nostalgic oasis. A Thanksgiving Day turkey bowling, watch Thanksgiving Day parade in the Bayliner Diner, Christmas tree and Hanukkah menorah lighting ceremonies will all be coming to this resort. At Universal's Aventura Hotel, you can experience a fresh and fun way to stay this holiday season. Rooftop New Year's Eve celebration, Hanukkah menorah lighting ceremony, and holiday meal specials will be included here. At Universal's Endless Summer Resort, Surfside Inn and Suites, you can step into the surf lifestyle and save with extra affordable rates. These will have Hanukkah menorah lighting ceremonies and holiday meal specials. 
at Universal's Endless Summer Resort Dockside Inn and Suites, which is the second building of this resort, you can escape to the perfect sunset and save with rates that are always affordable. They also will have a Hanukkah menorah lighting ceremony and holiday meal specials. On YouTube, Universal would also post a nighttime POV of the Velocicoaster, something that I actually really want to experience in real life because it looks awesome. Also, Halloween Horror Nights would actually sell out on Sunday. Just a fun little detail, and obviously, it's probably going to sell out more as the event gets closer to its end, because as it gets closer to Halloween, more and more people go. So, into the Universal Studios Florida Park in New York, the Tribute Store, following the weekly magnet release schedule, would receive a new Jack in the Box cartoony Jack magnet. It would also be found that Revenge of the Mummy will be closing for a lengthy refurbishment starting on January 7th of 2022. The refurbishment is expected to stay in refurbishment until late summer of the same year. It is also rumored that the refurbishment is to enhance effects and maybe even receive a new track. At the skill games here, new plush Fraggles, Ghosts, and Stay Puff Marshmallow Mans would become prizes. Finally, for New York at Hagen Dawes, there would be a new pumpkin spice shake. Over in Production Central, it would be shared in an internal, employees only, memo that Shrek 4D will be officially closing on January 10th of 2022. No replacement for the experience has been released, and all team members working at the attraction will be relocated. This will also indicate the closure of the attraction's gift shop, Shrek's Ye Old Souvenir Shop. However, Donkey's meet and greet, most likely along with Shrek and Fiona, will remain operational next to it, so you don't have to worry about them leaving. The ride was operational for 18 years, entertaining nearly 775 million guests. So, Shrek 4D had a good run. And you might be disappointed, however, it's definitely one of the lower tier experiences that Universal offers, so it'll be interesting to see what they replace it with. Anyways, over in Hollywood, at the Five and Dime, as per scheduled, the people of Midnight Syndicate would be signing albums, and the line was very long. Over at Men in Black, though this isn't exactly new, something that's a little bit more recent is horror-themed tops and tote bags in the Men in Black shop. I know these have been around for a while, however, there's something that's relatively new to me, so I just wanted to state it because they're also just something that's really cool. Over in the Islands of Adventure in Isla Nublar, or in Jurassic Park, the Velocicoaster would experience an extended delay on Sunday and a few other times. It was stated that when testing the cars while empty, multiple rowbacks in a row were spotted. This is when it actually didn't make it over the top hat, or the big hill of the Velocicoaster, which makes me think that there might actually be some sort of technical issue. Now, I don't think that this will be going down for refurbishment, and more will just be going down for small little bits so that they can fix the problem. However, it's definitely interesting to see the wear and tear the Velocicoaster has had over the few months it's been open. Also, new Jurassic World logo plastic cups have replaced the stereotypical Universal cups in all drink locations on this island of Islands of Adventure. And these cups actually really help the theming and they look absolutely awesome. I'm just gonna state that. Finally for this video, in Port of Entry, Confisco Grill would receive new seasonal pumpkin hummus, which is savory pumpkin hummus, toasted pepitas, pomegranate seed, charred pita, and a lavash. If I mispronounce those words, I'm terribly sorry. This looks cool, and apparently the hummus at Universal tends to be pretty decent. So give it a try if you want a fun snack or even a light meal. So that's everything that I could find at Universal Studios Orlando Resort. This is my first longer video in a while, and it definitely had some pretty awesome stuff in it. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. I hope I was informative, and if you have any feedback, please comment it, because I'm always open to trying to make my videos better. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and with all of that said and done, this is Wunu, signing off.